The Industry Skills Advisory Council Northern Territory provides advice, gathers intelligence on workforce development, training package development, skill shortages and workforce solutions across the Northern Territory. Recently, the MEM training package undertook a review. Isaac NT engaged with local businesses, training providers and associations to gather feedback to improve the national training standard. When the training package consultation was announced, I met with Grant from A&B Welding. We sat down and went through the training package and through the information that he's provided, it's resulted in a new unit of competency being created for metal fabricators. Well, one of the big things I see is with you know the amount of people coming through and tradesmen shortage of there's a I've identified a big lack of compliance to the actual codes and standards and what is up to date and what is current. A lot of people know how you've got to do it, but not particularly why you have to do it. The older curriculum used to just be a date and no sort of rec recognition of the actual codes and standards that like why you're actually doing it for. I just think having that understanding of why you've got to do it is much more important than to just this is how you do it. And working with Isaac NT, it's now became a new competency unit in the metal fabrication qualifications. So I think that's a great step that you know industry's actually getting heard and it's going to just actually help industry as a whole in the future. In my position as a manning director, I just couldn't encourage other businesses owners enough to get on board with this type of stuff. This is a really good example of how industry can influence the national training package. If your organisation is interested in participating in training package development or needing assistance with workforce development or solutions, contact us at ISAC NT.